Your Excellencies, um, professors, uh, distinguished guests, I would like to thank you very much for welcoming us in this uh, net zero discussion. I am Tom Aguillo here. Uh, I am the CEO of the Global um, Cement on Concrete Association. And I would like to introduce you the work that was done at global level, but also at Egyptian level by the Egyptian cement industry on uh, the net zero transition uh, with the cement sector. Uh, a short word on uh, GCTA first. Uh, GCTA uh, is the reference cement uh, industry association at global level. We uh, include or represent 80% of the cement sector outside China. And we also have some key Chinese manufacturers, uh, such as CNDM, such as Washing, such as West China, such as Taiwan Cement or Asian Cement Corporation. Uh, we are also uh, proud to be the reference partner on the reference discussion point uh, for all what matters on cement, on concrete, with a renowned international organization, and in particular the United Nations. Uh, we are in discussion with the Secretary General Office. Uh, we are a, a Race to Zero Accelerator, the only cement association in the world to be Race to Zero Accelerator. We have an official seat also. We have an observer status uh, at the COP in the United Nations, and we participate in many global initiatives, such as the First Mover Coalition or the IDDI from UNIDO. We are also in discussion with clean energy ministerial uh, divisions on department uh, to figure out on, on, on agree on what we do with carbon capture technology and to develop it. And we are also in discussion with people like the WEF or the Mission Possible Partner. Altogether, our work has been actually uh, acknowledged uh, by the Secretary General himself, and particularly the work on the roadmap, on the work on the net zero transition, which I'm about to uh, introduce. So what is this net zero pathway on net zero transition that we can do in the cement and concrete industry? Well, the first comment is uh, we don't start from a standstill. Uh, from 1990, which you see here at the beginning of the graph, to uh, basically 2020, there was already a reduction of 20% uh, of the cement efficiencies. But what the industry did was to sit together uh, to work for about uh, uh, one and a half year, 200 people from nine different regions of the world, including Africa, including China, uh, including uh, Middle East, uh, and to discuss the possibility uh, to get to net zero. How do we actually comply with the Paris Agreement and how do we make that happen? Uh, first, we had to agree on technologies. Uh, and second, we had to agree on how these technologies can be implemented and can be played uh, across the country. Uh, for all this, it's not about getting to the best of the technologies, but it's really integrating also what can be done at local level. This was aggregated into a global roadmap, and this was the base for this commitment uh, that was made by the cement sector, which I think is one of the biggest commitments uh, of a single sector made uh, on the net zero uh, transition pathway. In details, what are we talking about? We have here different um, uh, uh, technology drivers, as I said. Uh, in particular, we start at construction level, so it's a full value chain uh, net zero uh, roadmap, and we understand how uh, we can reduce uh, the cement on the construction or the concrete into the construction by building better, building more efficient, better design, uh, uh, smarter design, etc. We look then at what we can do in ready mix uh, in terms of industrialization of the cement. You have visited the working place. Uh, you see that uh, when you use a bag of cement, the dosage or the use of the cement is probably not as frugal as it can be uh, uh, when it is done in the industrial way. The third level here is about the clinker factor, which is basically how do we reduce the quantity of clinker into the cement? There are many opportunities, and particularly in Egypt. I'll come back to that. We have also the cooking of the clinker itself, which is you know, the carbonated, carbon-intensive material uh, into the cement. Uh, this relates to circularity. You heard the word alternative fuels probably before. This is what it's about on how do we use that. And we have this big new technology, uh, which is carbon capture, which is a technology that needs to be matured, that already exists. We have plants. I mean, there is all over the world a different sector 
carbon capture plant existing. We need to appropriate that technology to the cement sector and we need to reflect how we deploy that technologies for the cement sector across the globe uh, and also in particular energy. There is then two important uh, elements. One is the green electricity. When you grind the material, how do we source it? Do we build it? Do we get it from the grid? Solar, wind, all these uh, type of projects are important. And finally, the recarbonation of the cement, the recarbonation of the concrete. This is the reabsorption of the CO2 uh, in uh, the uh, material. Uh, and this is also something that is recognized in the IPPC and validated scientifically uh, by the IPPs. So we uh, have done uh, this global commitment, but the question is, uh, is how do you uh, move from a global commitment to a local action? And we have launched this net zero accelerator, uh, which consists basically of partnering at global level with the national cement association of the respective countries and with the local uh, GCC members to understand and to bring this roadmap at the heart of the discussion on understanding how we can move forward on local basis in uh, the net zero uh, uh, transition. So you see, Egypt was actually one of the pilot countries because of the COP. We did that in uh, in 20, uh, uh, last year, in 2022. Uh, and we presented the roadmap at the COP in Sharm el uh, uh, together with uh, a number of, of, of eminent people, or not less the, the time at Champions, Mr. Uh, Mohaldin, uh, that was uh, in, in the room. So our role at GCC is to deploy this know-how to make sure that every country of the world, as much as possible, goes through that transition and make the homework of understanding what is my net zero pathway on how do uh, my local cement industry uh, is able to transition and to go to net zero and with what technologies. So in Egypt, we have developed that, that, that uh, we have rolled out that project, as I explained. So we had a series of workshops with CEOs, with, with different people, uh, talking about the, the, the drivers, the different levels, the technologies, and understanding you know, what could be coming on how we can implement and activate all these uh, technologies, all these projects, all these developments uh, into uh, uh, the country and, and throughout the country. And you see, we have actually a validation. Uh, moment, and we are about to publish uh, that roadmap, and, and they are very welcoming additional remark uh, if uh, there is any. These are the seven companies that have um, participated in this, in this discussion. Uh, we had international group, but we have also uh, some local cement group, like MIS uh, Cement, like Al Alarda Cement, or like this uh, Mac uh, company uh, uh, also uh, being present. That's the result of this discussion. That's the synthesis in a graph of, of this discussion. You see the importance here of, in particular, the CCUS that represents a big, a big lever, but also, you know, some levels like the uh, uh, clinker factor, reducing the clinker factor, which are very important potential, particularly in Egypt, given today the high level of OPC used uh, into uh, the construction. Uh, uh, in order to implement that and in order to uh, get faster, we have actually also developing some ideas on, on policy. So we need to discuss with the government as much as possible how we can make, make this happen. It's about standard. It's about involvement of the supply chain, understanding what has to be done, the use on the development of this low carbon product. What does it mean? How can we bring it to the market? The signals, the demand signals uh, uh, related to procurement, uh, green procurement. You have probably heard that. Uh, with the first mover coalition uh, uh, discussion. We have also important elements around circularity, uh, the alternative fuels, that's a very important uh, driver in Egypt, uh, stimulus on the development of, of ready mix knowledge, ready mix uh, usage or prefabricated uh, uh, in, the, in the future. And of course, the initial steps on the carbon capture to be discussed, probably with our sector and understanding how we can create hubs uh, around carbon capture and make it work. In summary, we have a roadmap. The cement industry in uh, uh, Egypt has developed that roadmap. It's not a GCC roadmap, it's a cement industry roadmap, an Egyptian cement industry roadmap. And we wanted to bring that to your attention and to maybe close the loop, try to discuss that and try to finalize this roadmap so that we really move our actions move our efforts, not only on discussing the way, but rather on making the way happen. We believe in the net zero transition. We want that net zero transition to happen in Egypt as well. Now it's about getting the things done, discussing with the government on 
advocacy on policy ask to create the favorable condition to act on to uh, accelerate on the transition. I thank you very much for your uh, listening and I wish uh, you a good continuation of meeting and I'm available to you for further discussion. I understand we'll have a workshop in a, in a few days. Uh, it's a pleasure to have this discussion with you guys. Thank you very much.